Welcome back to Cinema Daily US, everybody, for another round of Queens versus Manhattan, as I am Matthew Shuckman here in Queens. I'm Edward Douglas, Lower East Side, baby. And today we are talking about the remake of the 2022 uh, Danish film, Speak No Evil. You know, again, a remake only two years after the original. Gotta love it. But, yeah. like, all right, so I, I just want to dive right into this. Uh, because... I do my best to always attempt to hold a movie on its own. I don't want to compare it only to its original, compare it only to the source material, whatever it may be, but it gets hard sometimes. And in this case, it's definitely one of those hard times because um, without spoiling anything specifically, um, they do go a different route at, at, like at, at a certain point in this film they do in the original. And the original was so bleak and brutal compared to what we're shown here. And, I, I want a movie, a remake to do something of its own, but I, I think it hinders this story massively with these changes. Should you tell them what the movie's about? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I will. I will tell them what it's about. It's about basically the, the, pre the premise is exactly the same as the, as the original movie. It's basically two couples meet in Italy on vacation. Uh, one of them invites the other this couple with a small child to visit them. Uh, this is different because it doesn't take place in either Holland or Denmark. It takes place in England, and one of the families is American, and the other family is British, and it's in the in the uh, kind of a remote area where they go visit them, and uh, you know things start you know getting weird, you know not not pretty quickly, but like it's, they start getting weird, and they're, they're, the people, the people the visiting are a very strange couple, and uh, but I, I you know but yeah but but it, and it has some similar beats, almost exact same beats. Yeah. But then there's other things that I liked, which they went away from in that. So, well, I mean, look, that's the thing. You know, this this version does try to do certain things that you know that I would have questioned from the original. Like, you know, I mean, even though I think it's a little too much, and uh, you know, they go through too much exposition in a lot in a lot of ways in this version. You know, correcting a little bit to why the young boy doesn't do more to try and notify people of certain things. That's fine, but then the other family side that it try to in inject more story into their lives and or give a reason behind why some of these things are happening, which the original doesn't, is kind of bothersome because I think that's what's great about the original and also the fact that the original plays, you know, the you know the antagonist character is a little more naturally in a lot of ways. It's like you can believe that for even as outrageous as it is, you can believe that maybe oh maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe there are just misreadings and these things will be okay. <laughs> well, I mean, to be to be fair, I mean, the, this new version we've seen, we've probably seen the the trailers a hundred times, yeah. Which are, which are, which basically set up this kind of menacing thing. Whereas the original, I mean, I don't know if you saw it at Sundance. I saw it at Sundance, which was virtual that year, um, and then it got went to went to Shutter. So this that movie is a movie. The original movie has never even been played in theaters in the U.S. theaters. As far as I know, but I mean, the fact that you see these trailers, you know, there's a menace to it. It's not like whether with the original movie, yeah. you're like, besides being a midnight movie at Sundance, you're like, well, what's going on here? I don't really know. It's kind of a lot of there's a lot of tension and stuff like. That. But but the thing you mentioned is, I mean, I liked uh, the fact that they actually you know made more out of the characters, out of the uh, Scoot McNary mm. and um, uh, Mackenzie Davis characters. Like they had some like marital issues and things like that. There was actually like reasons for them to be for things to be even tenser. Which, whereas the original one, I mean, the kids did barely anything in the original. They were just there the whole time, yeah. I thought. So, Well, I mean, yeah, but I, you know, that's, again, that's kind of what I liked about it. It's a little more subtle and a little more, the original, that is. And, and again, you know, because there are plenty of people going to see this. And don't, I'm not trying to say the things that happen in this version aren't brutal. But compared to what happens in, in the original, and again, not going to ruin it for people. Um, you know, maybe I, I do like things a little darker, I granted. But you know, that's, again, the, the other thing. And again, I'm not trying to only con connect just the two from one to the other, but when one is a lot more ambiguous in a certain sense and another is just like, here, here's all the stuff that you're used to, I'm just going to show it to you again with these characters, as much as you'll have seen James McAvoy go off the rails, it's like, it's not enough to save the entire picture in my mind. Yeah. Well, see, I, see, I think, I think, I, I think, I was kind of bothered by some of the ambiguous stuff in the original movie, mm. and I liked the fact that they actually tried making more sense out of the stuff. Um, you know, it's interesting. I think the first movie, the original movie, is like a hundred, hundred, hundred. It's an hour and twenty minutes. It's really, really short, and there's only like twenty minutes longer. So they kind, they get, they didn't, they didn't like completely make it like a three hour. Like they didn't do like King Kong, make it three hours out of 
90 minutes. But I mean, they, <laughs> they did more. They did more of the characters. And I thought, he, especially the kids, it's like you understand more of the kids where it was like the little girl in the original movie is like, oh, my little bunny, my little bunny. I mean, this actually like they had it as, as part of her character as well. And they explained it. But they didn't like spend too much. I think they went. I think they only they went overboard in exposition at all. I think they kind of brought well, in just about enough to you know. When when it comes when it comes to the McAvoy side of things, I think that even went even more overboard with having to try and give certain explanations. And I'm trying to talk about it as gingerly as I can without sure. giving it away or, or, or ruining it for people. Um, but I I, I I I it's it's more chilling and more shocking to be the version from the original than it is from this version when you think about it. Um, especially when it is so almost nonchalant and quick in the way it happens in the original compared to what happens here. Yeah. But I gotta, I gotta say, I mean, I'm not a big fan of comparing to, I mean, you, most of the time I don't even watch the original when after when the remake. I mean, this is a rare case where I decided to watch the original again just because I'd seen the trailer so many times and I did not remember specific beats like the, the, the kids dancing. I didn't remember that from the original movie even though it's in there some other things well, I, remember, I remember it very well <laughs> yeah well i don't remember i mean i got yeah, two years ago i mean i've seen you know five thousand movies since then since i saw it and i said and i didn't get to see the theater the first original one i still haven't seen the original one in theaters because it's, it's never played in theaters as far as i know but uh, i mean this one i mean i i thought i thought james watkins who, who directed this one did a, did a pretty good job like i mean as far as the the the, the, the scope of it he got like the, the the air you know we've seen a big screen like the places in italy and and in the the countryside it's all looks amazing um but there were things. I mean, I. I mean, I don't know. I. I, I feel like when I when I watched the watched the, the original again, I was like, it just was too grim for me. And I. I was like, I was kind of like, uh, like I. Like I, was, I think after I saw it the first one, I said, I'll never see this movie again, even though I liked it. Whereas this one, I think it has. It goes in places where I. I actually preferred, and I personally think American moviegoers prefer it to what was done original, which is very. I mean, it's very like like, like a critics, you know, you know, critics yeah. well, b- b- love a thing and. I know we have to wrap up, so I will say one other thing very quickly again. And I know I'm just all all I'm doing is comparing, but it's like you go and look at even the poster for the original film, uh, which is very evocative in a lot of ways without showing so much, but in the same breath showing very specific things compared to the posters for this, which is just James McAvoy going, shh, which is like, right. that's just, that's immediately what you should realize the difference between these two films just by looking at those posters. But with that, what's your letter grade? Uh, I, I'm gonna give it a B plus. I actually, I actually liked it. I I gave the original a B plus also, so I, I'll give them both B plus. Um, I, I like them both for different reasons, and uh, I don't think this one takes away from the original at all. I think I think you you could walk, go back and watch the original one if you've never seen it before after seeing this one and go like, oh, that's what they did. That's that's what the Danish crazy mother effers do when they, with with this with this premise. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go uh, lower. I'm 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 more of a, a C minus at this point. I think. Whoa! Yeah, wow. I was it, I was I'm just so destroyed with with the with the the sharp turn they decide. I mean, again, I I kind of saw it coming the trailers, but it, it it bothers me a little bit. But with that, yeah. thanks again we, for we, joining we, us. We here should make a side bet. We should make a side bet on the cinema score. I think the <laughs> cinema score will be at least a B plus. Well, thank it's you all for joining rare. us here at Cinema Daily US. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.